I've been searching everywhere. I know there's six kingdoms of life, and I'ma go through every one of them until I find you. Archaea, bacteria, and protists, animals, plants, fungi, yeah, you know this. There are six kingdoms of life, but you're the only one that can make me feel right. Ever since they took you away, You've been on my mind all night and all day I need to get you back, I mean it's hard to live So I search all six kingdoms I started with The oldest kingdom, Archaea It's just single cell organisms, you see her uh, They don't even have a nucleus in cold trenches And hot springs, Archaea do exist Next I visited the kingdom of bacteria They're in the air everywhere, it was scarier Bacteria all, all over was cool they help us digest our food, but I still couldn't find you It was hopeless, I wandered to the water kingdom of the protists The protists include amoebas and plankton The algae hadn't seen you, but I thanked them On to the kingdom in the darkest land Mushrooms decompose dead animals and plants The kingdom of fungi left me feeling scared But finding you soon was my only care Moved on to the green kingdom of the plants They were bathed in light and they seemed to dance with photosynthesis turn the sunlight and the power I sat on a bed of moss and gazed at the flowers The sixth kingdom, there was only one left Animals, I swear they took away my breath I saw a whale breach and a hawk saw Butterflies in the sky, I heard a lion roar All the energy they have, they get from food It was beautiful, but then I saw you All six kingdoms I had seen Couldn't compare to the moment you were next to me Archaea Bacteria and protists, animals, plants, fungi, yeah you know this There are six kingdoms of life, but you're the only one that can make me feel right Archaea, bacteria and protists, animals, plants, fungi, yeah you know this There are six kingdoms of life, but you're the only one that can make me feel right Wow, I don't know if that song slapped, bumped, if it's a banger I'm gonna go with banger. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna revisit that song uh, a little bit later, a little bit uh, after this lesson, uh, because we're gonna review our kingdoms, uh, get a little bit more information, uh, spend some uh, time individually with each kingdom, and then we're gonna come back to that song. Uh, we're gonna break down the lyrics, and we're going to see uh, what lyrics are in that song that we have inside of our notes. All right, so get ready for the lesson right now. Six kingdoms of classification. They include the animal kingdom, the plant, fungi, protus, bacteria, and archaea. Okay, for day two of the six kingdoms of life, uh, we're going to get these notes that we did yesterday and the previous lesson uh, back out and we're going to add to them. Uh, we have our uh, set of vocab words with this visual here. Uh, we started with bacteria at the bottom all the way up to animal and then we filled in whether something was eukaryotic or prokaryotic. Let's just review that prokaryotic means it does not have a nucleus and you can see that archaea and bacteria are the prokaryotic kingdoms. Eukaryotic has four kingdoms in it. All of these organisms have a nucleus in them and those are the protist, fungi, plant, and animal. Then we move to the unicellular, multicellular category. Unicellular meaning one cell only. Multicellular meaning uh, more than one cell. Archaea and bacteria are our unicellular uh, kingdoms. And protist is mostly unicellular, but we do have some multicellular. Fungi, plant, and animal are all our multicellular kingdoms however there are some single-celled fungi and then we move over to autotroph or heterotroph autotroph means that it makes its own food heterotroph means that it consumes other organisms for food so what I'd like us to do is to create another visual underneath we're gonna get a little bit more information on this page right here we're gonna watch each section of the video and then we're gonna take some notes underneath it the animal kingdom is an extremely diverse group of individuals. Some animals are giant like the blue whale, where others are tiny like an ant. Some have a complex nervous system and are intelligent, 
where others are simple like a sponge. Here are some common traits. Animals are heterotrophs, which means they eat other organisms for food. Animals are multicellular, meaning they are made up of more than one cell. Animals are eukaryotic, meaning they have a membrane-bound organelles and a nucleus. The first kingdom we're going to talk about is the animal kingdom, kingdom animalia. These organisms eat other organisms for food. They are our consumers, or if we go up to our vocabulary again, they are our heterotrophs. Animals are multicellular, made up of more than one cell. Speaking of cells, they do not have a cell wall. Only certain organisms have a cell wall. Animals have cell membranes around all of their cells. And this kingdom is very diverse. They can go from the smallest of ants up to the largest of whales. The plant kingdom contained large trees, flowers, and other plants found around you. Let's see what they have in common. First, plants are autotrophs, meaning they can get their food from the sun through photosynthesis. They contain a cell wall, and plants are multicellular. The next kingdom we're going to focus in on is the plant kingdom, or kingdom plantae. Sometimes referred to as the green kingdom because they produce their own food using sunlight. That process is called photosynthesis, which makes plants, there's our vocab word, autotrophs. Plants are all multicellular, meaning they are made up of more than one cell. And a unique feature about plants is that they have a cell wall that surrounds their cells. Fungi range from mushrooms to yeast. Some mushrooms are multicellular and others are unicellular. Fungi are eukaryotes and contain a cell wall. Fungi are also heterotrophs. Some are decomposers while others are parasites. Our third kingdom that we're going to focus on is the kingdom fungi. Fungi are mostly multicellular, but there are some single-celled organisms like yeasts. Fungi are similar to plants in that they have a cell wall. Where they are different from plants is that fungi are heterotrophs. That is one of our vocab words, meaning that they use other organisms for food. Fungi decompose dead and decaying organisms. The kingdom Protus is called the junk drawer kingdom. Protus range from single cell organisms like euglena to multicellular kelp. Some are plant-like, others are animal-like, some are fungi, but most are found in moist environment. As the catch-all kingdom for eukaryotic organisms, if an organism is not an animal, a plant, or fungi, it is most likely thrown in the protus kingdom. Some protists are heterotrophs, others are autotrophs. Our next kingdom we're going to talk about is the kingdom of protista or the protist kingdom. Sometimes referred to as the water kingdom because all of these organisms live in water. They are mostly single celled organisms, but there are some organisms like kelp that are multicellular. These organisms can be animal-like, plant-like, or fungus-like. They are sometimes referred to as a junk drawer. You know that drawer you have at your house that has maybe some uh, ketchup packets in it, a straw, some scissors, maybe some loose batteries. That is kind of what this kingdom is like. These four kingdoms, fungi, animal, plant, and protists are all eukaryotic. 
has a nucleus. The nucleus is the control center of all the cells in these four kingdoms. Next, bacteria. Bacteria are single cells. They are prokaryotes, which means they do not have an organized nucleus or membrane-bound organelles. They do have a cell wall and some move with a flagella. Bacteria are all around us. They help us digest food, sometimes make us sick, but also help us make yogurt. Four kingdoms. Let's focus in on our next kingdom, which is bacteria, sometimes referred to as eubacteria. Bacteria is all around us, on us, in us. It's on every surface that you touch. There are both good and bad bacteria. You have good bacteria in your uh, stomach and in your guts that help you digest food. There are some bad bacteria that cause things like strep throat. Bacteria can and cannot make their own food. It depends on what type of bacteria it is, which makes them autotrophs, which can make their own food, or heterotrophs, which means they need to consume other organisms or chemicals for their own energy. And finally, archaea are prokaryotes like bacteria, but they are structurally different. Many are found in extreme environments, such as extreme temperatures, extreme salty conditions, or little or no oxygen. So there we go, the six kingdoms that make up classification. Our sixth and final kingdom that we're going to look at today is archaea or archaea bacteria. These are the oldest known form of life on earth and that's because they can survive in extreme environments. When the earth was forming, the earth was not a real uh, inviting place for life but archaea bacteria can survive in environments that are extremely salty or near thermal vents at the bottom of the ocean. Like bacteria, archaea are single-celled organisms. Both bacteria and archaea are prokaryotic, meaning that they have no nucleus. So here is an overview of our six kingdoms of life. If you need to pause the video in order to catch up with the notes, go ahead and pause it here. Get your notes taken care of. And that's our six kingdoms of life notes. Uh, we spent two days on these notes, so you have some nice, nice visuals to look at. Uh, you can refer back to these notes throughout the year. We're going to be talking about uh, each individual kingdom, studying it a little bit more in depth to see what makes it the kingdom that it is. You can refer back to these notes for quizzes and assignments. Uh, make sure they're labeled in notability. That way you can access them easily. Your goal right now is to go back and re-watch that beginning song by the group Flocabulary about the six kingdoms of life, and then answer the questions in the quiz after watching the video again.